In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Andy Cine M.2 NVMe SATA drive. So firstly, let me go ahead and lead the video off by telling you guys that Andy Cine did send this out to me so I can do this review video and actually show you guys how to install the SSD into the enclosure. And we're actually gonna be doing a couple of tests to see how fast this drive is. So let's go ahead and get this bad baby installed. Everything comes in a bag. So we're gonna go ahead and open this bad baby up. We have our screwdriver pack. This looks like it's gonna be the top of the drive. This here is going to be the PCB microfiber cloth. Andy Cine branded. This is of course the bottom of the drive. Looks exactly like the Magnolium, but of course it is an M.2 drive. All right, so I zoomed this in just a little bit so we can see a little bit better in detail here. So this is of course the drive itself. Now, I guess the next step would be of course putting the PCB into the enclosure. So basically after you take it all out, this is what it looks like nice and exposed here it actually says lunchbox across the front on the pcb so let's go ahead and actually drop this into our enclosure now it should fit in there perfectly this is basically how it looks nice and simple so what next step we have to do is we have to take this screw out right here at the back side so we can then slot our m.2 drive in there and then close it down using that screw this is our samsung ssd right here and remember it is a terabyte so we're gonna have a lot of external storage that we're gonna be able to mess around with after making this drive up so once you get your screw out of there it's time to go ahead and place the drive so we're gonna head and take the drive and we're gonna slot it into our PCB. It should stick up like this. So this is fine if it does stick up like that. Now what you wanna do is you wanna push it down in the back and then we're gonna be replacing that screw. Now if it's in all the way, you shouldn't be seeing any drive sticking out and this should be completely flat. So in the top part of the case, you will have this thermal adhesive pad that you're gonna have to put on top of the drive. You wanna make sure this goes onto the top of the drive first, and then we can go ahead and close it up. Mine just literally just ripped a couple times while doing this. Now it should be time to actually put the top onto the drive. We're gonna go ahead and slap that bad baby right here on the top of the drive like so now it says unit five on the top here i'm not sure if this is number five of the units for real but that is a nice detail that they did add into there and boom there you go you have the andy cine this is the m.2 nvme ssd this is going to be as fast as the drive that you bought so the drive that i bought was a samsung drive another thing is i did notice that it did not come with a USB cable. All right guys, so we just finished going ahead and putting our M.2 drive into our Andy Cine lunchbox enclosure. So now we're gonna actually jump into the computer here and I'm actually gonna plug this bad baby in USB-C to USB-C so we can get a real world case scenario of how fast this drive really is. So we're gonna go ahead and drop on some files. I do have some files from my desktop, um, probably around 200 gigabytes worth of files. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it onto the Andy Cine drive and see exactly how fast this is actually gonna run. So these files I have are right here to the right. And let's go ahead and drop these on here. And let's see what we're looking like for the speed. Oh my goodness, that bad baby started at 1.8 gigabytes a second. And you see it's actually slowing itself down, not too sure why, but it should be at least hidden around a thousand, which is a gigabyte per second in this regard. It's only gonna take probably two to three minutes to transfer over this 200 gigabytes for the footage, which is definitely not bad. I feel like this is a really good drive for creatives. So if you guys were looking to pick up one of these, make sure you check that link down in the description below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you just happen to be new. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.